All gatherings and protesting educational institutions have been banned in Bengaluru for two weeks amid the escalating row over his charms in schools and colleges of Karnataka. Amid the ongoing hijab row in Karnataka, Congress leader Priyanka Gandhi Vadra said whether it is a bikini, a ghungar, a pair of jeans or a hijab, it is a woman's right to decide what she wants to wear. Border security force demands in Amritsar of Punjab thwarted a terror attempt late on Tuesday when a drone dropped explosives at the Panjgrahian border outpost in Ajnala Tehsil. Following the controversy over the social media post by Hyundai, South Korea's foreign minister called up external affairs minister S.J. Shankar and regretted the offence caused to the people and government of India. The Indian Space and Research Organization will conduct the first launch of 2022 on 14 February as it lifts off the Earth Observation Satellite. French President Emmanuel Macron has told reporters that President Vladimir Putin assured him that the Russian forces would not ramp up the crisis near Ukraine's borders. Actor Sonu Sood helped a young boy who met with a road accident in Moga on Tuesday. In a video shared on Twitter page of Sonu Charity Foundation, Sonu is seen helping the unconscious boy get out of the wrecked car and carrying him to his car. Sonu, who took him to the nearest hospital, is then seen standing around the bedside with others, waiting for the boy to recover. Writing with Fire has packed an Oscar nomination. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences nominated the Indian documentary under the Best Documentary Feature category during the 94th Oscar nominations announced on 8 February.